Welcome back to Technician's Toolbox. In this video we will discuss the Volkswagen ETC system. Volkswagen has used a variety of ETC systems on their vehicles. Always consult the shop manual for the system you're working on specific procedures. Since the VW ETC system functions in the same manner as the other systems, please review the other videos in this series. The Bosch Motronic PCM used by Volkswagen does not automatically replace learned values while the vehicle is driven in the same way most domestic vehicles do. The old learned values must be erased with a scan tool. This is necessary to reset learned values which may be at limit to a neutral position. Adaptation teaches the PCM the various positions of the throttle unit when the ignition switch is turned on and the engine is not running. These positions are stored in the control module. The adaptive sequence must be performed if the voltage supply is interrupted, the throttle valve control module has been removed and installed or possibly cleaned, the throttle valve control module is replaced, the PCM is replaced, or if faulty components such as the oxygen sensors or fuel injectors have been replaced. Let's look at a case study. Our vehicle is a 1998 VW Beetle with a 2 liter engine with 88,000 miles on it. Customer's concern is the transmission has delayed upshifts. Our visual inspection reveals that the mill is off and there are no DTCs. The 1-2 upshift does not occur until about 43 miles an hour. The customer is interviewed and they reveal that the battery was replaced last week. The problem occurred after the replacement. The PCM learned closed throttle position was 3 degrees. It is off by 3 degrees from actual. PCM sensed the engine torque output was greater than actual and this caused the transmission to shift later. To reset the learned values we will use the scan tool. Run the adaptive procedure. After entering the procedure the voltage to the throttle control motor is switched off. In this condition the throttle valve is pulled into an emergency running position by the mechanical spring in the throttle valve control module. The values that both angle sensors provide in the emergency running position are stored by the PCM. Next, the throttle valve is opened a predetermined value. If this value is achieved, the throttle valve is again switched so that it is not supplied with voltage. Now the mechanical spring must pull the throttle valve to the previously learned emergency running position within a predetermined period of time. This is also the spring test. Then the throttle valve is closed by the throttle control motor and the values which are supplied by the angle sensors in the throttle valve control module are stored in the PCM. Wait at least 30 seconds before terminating engine basic setting by pressing the button. Adaptation has been performed. A note, if the basic setting of the control module is aborted, the prerequisites have not been fulfilled, or the throttle valve control module or wiring is faulty, a diagnostic trouble code is stored in DTC memory. The next time the ignition is switched on, the basic setting is automatically performed again. Some points to remember. Use a Keep Alive device when replacing a battery, especially on vehicles that you are not prepared to do a relearn on. Thanks for watching Technician's Toolbox. See you next time.